This leader is designed to help you project your film properly. Is your picture in focus? If not, set your lens so that these lines are sharp and clear on all parts of the screen. Now, adjust the volume control so that my voice can be clearly heard in all parts of the room. If the beep and flash were together, the projector is properly threaded. If you heard the beep before you saw the flash, the lower loop is too short. If the sound was late, the lower loop is too long. Here it is again. Five, four, three, two, one. The film is ready for screening. You may now turn off your projector. Since the dawn of recorded history, nearly all leaders of human thought have had something to say about the almost overwhelming importance of the educational process. It is even said today that continued world peace hinges on our ability to speed and improve education. But it takes skilled professional people with long years of training to convey knowledge to students. It's the teacher-pupil relationship that makes the educational process go. There is no substitute for the essential patient task of teaching, nor the teacher-pupil relationship. Information handling machines can help the school staff, the administrators, the counselors, the teachers. They can take over many burdensome information handling tasks and thus make available more time for their most important work. Work they were trained for, better students, better education. This motion picture, the School Information Center, is a brief review of the efforts of IBM to bring the benefits of modern data processing methods to help in the complex problem of educating children. IBM's experience in providing and maintaining information handling systems in schools dates back more than three decades. Through the years, we found that an exchange of information between educators and IBM specialists is important to the successful application of modern electronic data processing methods to the school's problems and the educational process. We conduct executive seminars specifically for school systems administrators to impart to them the principles of educational data processing. Some IBM men specialize in handling school information requirements. They learn these requirements in special courses. In these classes, they explore current school needs in areas ranging from the purely academic through counseling to administration. We have also many publications that explain these specific educational applications in detail. In the process of utilizing the machines and acquiring the personnel with the essential knowledge to make school information systems work, we have prepared pre-programmed application procedures for use in schools. They include descriptions of procedures, flow charts, wiring diagrams, input and output designs, and all the information needed to guide schools in developing machine methods tailored to their specific needs and requirements. At this session, a school administrator is explaining the organization of his school system to a group of IBM representatives. Our district organization, although small by some standards, is nevertheless large and complex. And like nearly every other school district in the nation, we are growing. Our organization must be geared to growth and change. Our aim is to achieve logical growth and practical change based on facts. To make our school system perform its number one job of educating all our children in the most effective manner possible. We find a constantly growing need to exchange and wisely use more and more information. We administrators must keep our Board of Education aware of the business details of our operation and also keep them aware of our educational progress. Everyone needs information. The Board of Education, the teachers, the counselors, 
the administrators themselves, the parents, and most importantly, the students need the best information that can be given them, for the success of the educational process is measured in terms of the school system's effectiveness in transmitting information, knowledge, and skill to its students. The process of gathering and using information can be vital to the total function of the school. Let's see how school information is handled by an IBM system. This is a card punch machine. It is used to punch holes in specific locations on data handling cards. These holes represent information in a form that allows machine processing. Other machines in this room process the cards to arrange the information in its most useful form. Here are some of the typical reports produced. The Information Center handles all the information on master student records, helps to formulate a better master class schedule, reducing possible conflicts in student schedules, assigns the students to classes, does the attendance accounting, makes out report cards, and correlates all the information necessary to complete the school census. And incidentally, the Information Processing Center can also be a source of information for school bus lists, locker assignments, football tickets, and a host of other routine paperwork jobs, thus saving educators time to be used in judgment, decision, and planning instead of record keeping. Reports produced by the information system pertaining to the student's school performance can be a vital source in counseling sessions with the students. The counselor's folder on a student contains counselor prepared information and several machine produced forms. The cumulative record contains the student's and parent's name and address and a report of the student's scholastic achievement for the past two years along with credits for each course taken. This record tells a story of a successful student. This is confirmed by his rank in class, which shows him to be in the upper quarter. This student, now in the 10th grade, has expressed interest in pursuing an engineering education. The counselor's job is to help him chart a course pointed toward success. Because of the school information center, the counselor has more time to devote to each student. The data processing machines have produced Paul's report card, which shows him to have superior marks in geometry and average marks in English. This information is consistent with remarks that indicate high interest in math and average interest in English. In addition, this student's name appears on the last four honor roll lists. So happily, there's no need to refer to the failure lists. But these lists, too, are ready and waiting. They have been prepared by the machines, thus saving the counselor time so it can be spent on the job that brings the highest return, counseling. A nationwide aptitude test that was graded and analyzed by machines reveals that Paul has a high numerical and mechanical aptitude. The counselor can confidently continue to encourage Paul in his preparation for an engineering career. All these pieces of factual information, expertly pieced together by the professional, form a pattern for the student's future. It is a bright pattern that demands challenge. Paul is a likely candidate for the mathematics course for advanced students. The rest of the program is routine for the pre-engineering student. However, because the information center has made the facts available, the counselor has the time to discuss the student's merely average grades in English and make sure the student understands the growing importance of communications for the scientifically oriented. With the counseling assistance, there is a good chance the English will show improvement next year. The counselor also starts the procedure by which student schedules are prepared. Courses are assigned to Paul and he agrees. Now, English 3, U.S. History 1, German 3, Chemistry, Health 3, Algebra 2 advanced, and physical education become holes in a punched card. These cards now contain dynamic information to be used in developing a list of student request totals for each course. The master schedule is determined, and from this and the student's requests, 
A specific no-conflict schedule for each student is prepared on the school's information handling equipment. The schedules are printed on multiple copy forms and distributed for use on the first day of class. An automatic byproduct of the scheduling operation is a preparation of class lists so the teacher can check the roll on the first day of school. Course cards are given to each teacher. When marking time comes, student grades are recorded and processed in the information center and report cards are distributed. Many other student record applications are processed. Of course, the information center also handles many of the business routines of the school system with speed, accuracy, and reliability that cannot be matched by manual methods. So modern business methods may be applied to school management with efficiency and economy. The information center may also be used as a training center in which to teach students an important technique of information handling, thus expanding their opportunities in tomorrow's world. However, the information center's major value is that it relieves professional people of clerical chores and thus provides more education for the tax dollar. Used to its full potential, the School Information Center holds a high promise that the present evolution in the processes of gathering and utilizing information will bring knowledge we barely dare to dream of to assist in the monumental task of truly educating our children. <laughs>